Hi, I'm Sam. This video is about Cascade, a brand new mechanic in the Alara Reborn set. When you play a spell that has Cascade, you get a random bonus spell for free. Bituminous Blast is an instant with Cascade, and Bloodbraid Elf is a creature with Cascade. Regardless of what kind of card Cascade is on, it always works in the same way. Let's see it in action. When you play a spell with Cascade, the Cascade ability triggers. You'll remove cards from the top of your library from the game until you remove a non-land card whose converted mana cost is less than the spell's converted mana cost. What's a converted mana cost? Glad you asked. A card's converted mana cost is the amount of mana it costs ignoring any colors. To determine Bituminous Blast's converted mana cost, Look at the mana cost in the upper right corner. It costs 3 mana of any color, plus 1 black mana, plus 1 red mana, for a total of 5. So let's look at that again. Bituminous Blast's converted mana cost is 5, so we want a non-land card with converted mana cost of 4 or less. Swamp is a land card. Lava Axe's converted mana cost is 5. Undead Leo Taos is 6. Bingo. Sprouting Thrynax is 3. Here's the good part. You get to play the spell you find for free right now. Then you randomly rearrange the rest of the cards you flipped over this way and put them on the bottom of your library. The Sprouting Thrynax spell will resolve. Then, finally, Bituminous Blast will resolve. Once you play a spell with Cascade, the Cascade ability exists independently of the spell. If the spell is countered by Cancel, for example, that won't stop the Cascade ability. You'll still get to find a new spell and play it for free. The extra spell won't always work out. This time, you play Bloodbraid Elf. As a result of the Cascade ability, you flip over Crawworm, which costs too much, Forest, which is a land, and Blanchwood Armor. Its cost is low enough, so that's the card, but you can't play it because there are no legal targets. Remember that Bloodbraid Elf isn't in play yet. Cascade whiffs, so you randomly rearrange all the cards you removed and put them on the bottom of your library. Then Bloodbraid Elf comes into play. As you've seen, sometimes you can't play the card you find with Cascade. Other times you can play it, but you don't want to. That's okay. If you choose not to play the card you wind up with, it'll just go to the bottom of your library with the others. When you play the spell you find with Cascade, you're playing it without paying its mana cost. What does that mean? Let's take a look. Let's say you find a card with X in its mana cost. You can play that card. However, since you're not paying the mana cost, you don't get to choose a value for X. X has to be zero. Let's say you find a card with an alternative cost like Evoke or Morph. Since you're not paying the mana cost, you don't get to pay a different cost instead. You can't use Evoke or Morph, but you can play the card you find normally. Let's say you find a card with an additional cost like Kicker or Buyback. Even though you're not paying the mana cost, you can still pay the extra cost. That part's not free. You'll actually have to pay for it. If you play the card you find with Cascade, you're playing it as a spell. It can be countered with a spell like Cancel, but don't worry, there's a huge upside. You play Bituminous Blast and Cascade triggers. You find a card that costs too much, then Bloodbraid Elf. When you play Bloodbraid Elf, its own Cascade ability triggers, so you get to do it again. This time you find a land, then a Rip Clan Crasher. You get the Rip Clan Crasher and the Bloodbraid Elf, and Bituminous Blast takes out my Air Elemental. Now that's a turn. That's Cascade. Free random bonus spells. What could be more fun than that? Mm -hmm.